Mr. Diaz Balan. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, I think you're, you're right on target, as usual. Um, again, thanks for being here, uh, both of you. Um, there was a study completed by Grant uh, Thornton in September 2008 that provided a breakdown um, of the estimated number of jobs created by cost per job and also provided a methodology for EDA to measure performance. Uh, has the EDA and, uh, been using this study or are there other tools to measure uh, the impact of its funding? Um, EDA has been relying on a study that was done by uh, Rutgers University and a consortium of other academic institutions in 1997. Uh, now that the Grant Thornton study has, has been released and is final, we will be converting over to the Grant Thornton methodology for our future estimates. Um, you know, we're very pleased with the Grant Thornton study and that we believe that it adds a new level of uh, robustness to EDA's job targeting uh, methodology. Um, and we're looking forward to utilizing that in the future. And kind of following up on the, <clears throat> excuse me, on the chairwoman's question, that, that study also noted a range by project type of the cost per job created. Uh, uh, interesting, the lowest cost per job related to business incubators, and uh, which was, uh, and the highest cost per job related to uh, community infrastructure. Do you agree with these figures? Um, and if so, how might this impact your, um, you know, your priorities, your prioritization? Well, I think um, I think we do agree with the figures. Uh, I think the methodology is very sound, and, and we'll be hearing uh, more about that from the Grant Thornton witness later today. Um, I think. We were um, pleased to see these results because we found them to be very consistent with the EDA funding priorities and, and methodologies that we've been pursuing. Um, I think that uh, among EDA's funding priorities for the last several years has been a focus on innovation and entrepreneurship and encouraging that at a regional and local level. Uh, and what we've seen most recently is a 2010 um, administration budget blueprint which puts a focus on the support for for business incubators and those types of activities. So we think that all of those things are very consistent and will help EDA to achieve a hopefully even more robust uh, job outcome figures and results in the future. Good, good. Um, you know, there have been some concerns raised about the rules requiring the, that the revolving loan, loan fund be uh, compliance in compliance with federal requirements, even after all there's no federal dollars involved, no federal funding involved. Um, any thoughts on that and, and uh, would you propose any, any uh, changes uh, for that, to deal with that? Should we be changing anything to deal with that? Well, I think uh, since we don't yet have uh, our new leadership on board, that would be an item that would be left to the policy, their policy prerogatives when they when they arrive. Um, these are issues that have come up in the past with regards to EDA's revolving loan fund program, and we certainly look forward to uh, revisiting them uh, in the context of EDA's upcoming reauthorization. And last question, Madam Chairman. Uh, $500 million was appropriated uh, to EDA in response to hurricanes and floods and other natural disasters that occurred in 2008. Um, how's EDA managing these funds and how will these funds be allocated? How, how much of them have been allocated and how will they be allocated? Um, um, that's correct. EDA received two supplemental appropriations in 2008, $100 million on June 30th and $400 million on September 30th. Uh, those funds were for uh, targeted to the various natural disasters that occurred throughout the course of the, of the fiscal year. Um, I'm very, very pleased to report that all of those funds have been allocated out uh, across EDA's six regional offices um, and that EDA is doing quite well. In fact, we are about where I would hope that we would be uh, in developing projects, long-term recovery projects uh, to respond to those disasters. Uh, EDA is not a, a, a first responder uh, in the case of natural disasters. We come in after the initial cleanup and repairs have been done to help to lay the foundation for long-term economic recovery. Um, as, as such, I, I would note that our, our Denver regional office has done a very good job developing a very robust pipeline of projects in response to the Midwest floods that occurred over the summer um, and, in fact, have a pipeline that exceeds uh, the, their available allocation of funds uh, for that disaster. Likewise, our Austin regional office has also developed a, a very robust pipeline in response to the the hurricanes and other disasters that occurred um, over uh, the, the fall months. And we continue to solicit uh, applications for available funding through across all six of EDA's regional offices and, and are continuing to develop disaster response projects on a daily basis. 
Great. Thank you. No further questions, Madam Chairman.